All right, everybody, welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Banter Evans. Justin, well, I think we're showing a few different shirts today, and then uh, we have some pretty good bourbons out here, too. How nice is this that we have our own logo now? I know. And so, in case you guys weren't sure, we now have the, what I call the brewery or distillery style button-down dickies, and then yep. we have polos. And if anybody would like one, just reach out and let us know. I can tell you where to go, and you can customize it a little bit if you want. It has the same logo on the back. And it's actually pretty cool. It's very comfortable. Very good. And so now for the videos, we'll be repping our own logo instead of you know other logos. So yeah. I think that's a pretty good idea. I agree. With the exception idea. of one major thing, my bourbon socks. Yep, got to have the bourbon socks. Which I have my brand new bourbon socks on from Buffalo Trace Distillery that I got when we were up in Kentucky for bourbon festival. Yeah, I hated that I got them. I hated I missed that, but uh, sounds like it was a darn good time. Man, it was it was fantastic. And then, and not to mention. Sorry for the hiatus of filming, but we are back. This is uh, the first time giving it a go after my back surgery. Yep. And so I have my grabber here in case I need to reach anything from distance. Yep. And his gopher here also. Yeah. And so I am going to, we'll do the video to the best of my back's ability and go as long as we can. But we're going to try to get two done. And then the main thing that we're going to do right now. Oh, yeah. Good old 12 years. The 12-year battle between is Weller 12 the baby brother or the lesser advancement of Lot B Van Winkle? Yeah. Or as a lot of people call it, which we don't, Pappy 12. Nope. Lot B. Yeah, Lot B. <laughs> and the, the good news is, is one is 90.4 proof and the other one is 90 proof. Both yeah. 12 years, both same week match. Very, I mean, almost exactly the same proof. So So let's do a side-by-side -side and we'll talk a little bit more about Bourbon Festival and what, <laughs> what to expect for next year. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, believe me, I won't miss it this time. Yeah. It's uh, it was such a good time. We were able to get all kind of good, good bourbons, and the festival itself was amazing. Yeah, thousands of people there, and you know the lines were pretty long in the beginning to get some of the heavy released bottles. But all in all, it was worth every time that we had to stand. Which you know you can work it as a team, right? And then essentially. You don't have to wait the whole time. You can go around to each one of the different vendors and try their bourbon, try their whiskey, look for merchandise and things like that. So, excellent time. But back to the actual video. Indeed. Now that we got them poured up. So, this is a 2024 Weller 12. Just opened not too long ago. Yeah. This is the Lot B I opened for Tennessee Beating Oklahoma. Ah. So, it's only been open for a little while and yep. it's been heavily shared, which is the whole idea behind what we do anyway. Exactly. So. I'm going to let you nose it first, and then I'll nose it, and then we'll give you an idea of what we think on a side-by-side. -side. Now, right. I've got Lot B on the right, and I've got Weller 12 on the left. Got same thing. I just adjusted mine. All right. So, thanks for joining in. Cheers, and what's always in your glass? Mm. Oh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yep. Hey, I've been out of, been out of, uh, out of practice. So, yeah. yeah, hit that like button. Hit that thumbs up button. Let us know what you guys have thought when you've ever tried a side-by-side -side mm. of Weller 12 versus Lot B. All right, that Weller 12 is smelling good. Let's go with a lot B now. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I think I could pick this out of a blind, no I could problem. Too. I could, too. Yeah, we've done this multiple times. This is our first time doing the video. Now, the last video that we released was kind of a, a teaser and letting you guys know that we were going to do this as a 12-year uh, battle, essentially. Yeah. Is it worth the hunt and the... Uh, essentially the entire fun fiasco, if you want to call it that, to get to the Winkle, or is it just stick to the Weller 12 and pay a whole lot less money? Or come see us and try some of the good old, uh, what we have here, the good old control. That's right. You know, I, I don't think our control is going to do too well today. I don't think it is If we get either. to a third pour in this video, but that's the, an, another thing. We might not be able to make it that far again, you know, just after post-back surgery, so we'll see how long I can yep, sit. <laughs> exactly. All right, going in for the first sip. First sip, the Weller 12. Weller Cheers. 12. Cheers. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Is it just me or does it taste better with our new shirts on? I think it tastes better with the new shirts on. Could be the new release, too. Could be the new release, too. <laughs> so, I, I can tell you this. Not having tried Lot B yet versus this, but this is L24. Again, this is 2024. Yep. We just did a side-by-side -side of this versus 2021 and 22 uh, and 23. Now, 23 never made it into the conversation because 23 was okay. 22, we thought, was a lights out, great Weller 12. This is the best release since 2022. Okay. It definitely beat 23, which had no conversation, really. Yeah. But uh, 21 was pretty good. 22 nailed it. But So this is the best one since then, and this is actually pretty good. It's got, it is good. It's, it's got really good depth, but it does fall just it a falls. little short of a 22. So it hits you with really good flavor, and then it just kind of goes boop and dies. Well, and that's what I was about to say. So 
So the twenty two didn't die on the back end. No, it just okay. kept with amazing flavor. Okay, because this one, just like you said, it's there. Great, yeah. great on the t great on the tip. Start, but once you get in the middle of the tongue to the back, it's gone. It's just gone. Yep. 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 It's got great flavor. And you're like, oh, this is gonna be awesome, and all of a sudden it's like, eh, yep. I'm done. Yep. So it's like a quick hitter, and the yep. twenty twenty two just kind of lingered around with great flavor. And 2022 had a, a different cherry note, as a lot of people said. Now, you know, I don't normally say different the characteristics like that. I do some, but not a whole lot. Yeah, kind of like the dry fruit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That, we talk about. That, that, I'll do those. But, yeah. you know, cherry is really subjective, and it so is. is banana. And those aren't my two favorite ones. But you can get a cherry note on a lot of these bourbons. So well, I, yeah. I have to admit it. And I would agree. 22 had a little bit of that. Definitely not getting it on the 20, on this one, on the 24, the mm -hmm. 24. Second sip, better. But it's still, it's like once it gets to the kind of the back end of the tongue and goes down, yeah. it's gone. You can hold it on the, on the like the pocket. Yeah. And like you curl your tongue, just hold it there. And it's like, oh, the flavor. And then as soon as you saw it, it's like, ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, where'd it go? Yeah. It's hide and seek. It's there and it's gone. All right. Now I'm going to go straight to the lot B and do two sips. And then we're going to come back and do our lightning round. So we're going to do this kind yeah. of similar to how we yeah. would pick a barrel. Yeah. A little different though, but uh, hey. Cheers. Cheers. Hit that like and subscribe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're not biased or anything. No, not honest. at all. And I can tell you this for all those that are interested in hearing our thoughts and opinions, and we appreciate that for tuning in. Yes. If you get a bottle of Van Winkle Lot B, which I think is the best in the series. I would agree with you 100%. I changed my mind in 2017 from it being the 15, and now I've had a couple of the 20s recently that were outstanding. But Lot B is just so well balanced. I think that is the nectar of the Van Winkles. Yes. So that being said, this is my favorite in the line. This is, to me, worth trying to find this particular one. It is. What are you guys' thoughts? Of the Van Winkle line, do you think there's a specific one that stands out to you? And which one? Comment and let yeah. us know what it is. Hit that, because I used to be, honestly, mine, I, I had the opportunity to try a 23. 23 was lights out. I think I might have gotten a little bit of Stitzelweller in that, just maybe a little bit. A, yeah, it would have been a percentage. Percentage. Probably, that was a while ago. It was a long time ago, yeah. probably five years ago or so. Yeah. More, um, actually, more than that. If it was my bottle. Yeah. From Corey's birth, and it would have been a nice percentage. It was because it was 2016. I didn't. I, I did not get that. I got I think a couple of years after. Once, right when you got the store, okay, is when I got. But that's yeah. neither here nor there. Yeah. But after then, I got the lot B. Who? Yeah. Lot B. I mean, and also this is a lot more readily available. You can find it out there a lot easier than you can a 23. Now, depending on your market, which we are always going to refer to right. our market being Bourbon Banter Evans. It is going to be pricey in some places and not pricey in other places. Yep. It just depends on the store. So you make your relationships like we've always talked about exactly. and then try to find your bottle. Not saying that this is the best bourbon in the world like a lot of people think it is. But for it's, those that hate on it, I don't understand I don't that. It. It's always it. good. And I'm not saying it's the best in the world, but oh, no. it's always really and, good. You know, we've seen, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing this. We, we've had a lot of people tell us, Weller 12 knocks it in pants. I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's, let's try it again, you know? Oh my gosh, no way. That's got that, no way. Oh man. That's not even close. No. It, they're, they're similar as far as like being the same mash, but as far as like the flavor profile oh, and what yeah. builds and then builds and then stays yeah. and gives you that classic Winkle line taste that yep. Weller is similar to, but nowhere, if you try them, it's completely different. That's yeah. a ridiculous difference. That is, I mean, that's first sip too. First sip, yeah. And second sip, I, I'm almost afraid to go for the second sip because it's just going to be that much better. I, I, I enjoy Weller 12 a lot more than I used to, yeah. but I could drink that like a beer. Oh yeah, that's so, it's so easy. I mean, there's, it almost like, it, to me, it has almost no ethanol whatsoever. It's just flavor. It's a flavor bomb for me. I love it. Oh, sip too. It, I mean, it's just, it's got such a well and known balance that is the nectar of that line. That 12 years, perfect age statement on this, I think. Oh, yeah. For the wheat mash. 90.4 proof. Good. Great approachable proof. Mm -hmm. And then the balance before, well, I hate to use the word because people use it way too often, smooth. Yeah. But like you said, the, it's the, just more, the better way to describe it would be no ethanol. Yeah. It's and, a, and it's you, just balanced. And, and you get this nice build on the tip and then it goes to the back and then it just sits in the throat and it's so pleasant on the way down with flavor. No, and there's no there's no burn whatsoever. It's just flavor down there and it actually has a good finish. It yeah. has flavor on the back end. Whereas on this 12, it does not. Not saying that all 12s, not all Weller 12s are like this. Yeah. But on this one, the L24. Yeah. Multiple batches per year. Yes. One. 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 Yeah. So I encourage anybody to try this. And if you want to do it blind, if you want us to do it blind, yeah. challenge us and see if we can pick it out. Because we said we could. Yep. But, you know, we are always welcome for guests entertaining themselves over here in the back room having some pours. 
you can set up a blind and then we'll come into the yeah. room and boom, we'll do a lot B versus a Weller 12. We'll do a 10 versus a 10, depending yeah. on what you want to do. I okay. mean, let us know. There's plenty of 10 year bourbons out there that people say compete. I mean, a lot of people say Antique 107, which used to be a seven year, competes with Rip 10. Right, so. right. Well, honestly, and anything you see, if there's something you want to see in the comments, put or you want us to see us, see us do, put it in the comments. That way we know. Uncut, unfiltered. Yes, indeed. <laughs> We're a little out of practice. Yeah, we We're getting there. Yeah. We're getting back. All, All right, right, so. Lightning round? Lightning round. Back to back, I yeah. think. And then uh, I, I say we talk a little bit more about Bourbon Festival. Okay. Talk about some other things, and then we'll, we'll cut this one off. Because uh, I think just off of round one, it's a clear winner. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. I mean, I, I love to do the lightning round just because then it's a boom, boom. Yeah. You get that, and then you really, for me, it, it really lets me know what, I, what I'm missing and what I'm not missing. All right, so what yeah. I'm going to do, lightning round, I'm going to go Weller 12, then Lot B. Yep. Swig of beverage. Yep. Run it back, Lot B to 12. Yep. I'm going to do, I'll do forward, back, back, with forward. Just like you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for joining in. What's your thoughts on Lot B, on Winkle, and Weller 12 and the Weller line? All right. Weller 12 is still very pleasant. But it does drop off. And it does have a little bit that stays on the tip of the tongue, which tells you that the proof is there. So ethanol. Yep. I, I mean, now I'm going to go back. I mean, it's just, it's the same for me. After doing two sips, two sips, it's the same. Oh, yeah. It's not even close. No. But now I'm going to swish around some beverage, beer, light. Let's try this now. Let's go back and forth. Notice that we're using Glen Cairns. If you guys didn't see our video on glassware and how it affects bourbon, check it out. It yeah. was a great video. We chose Glen Cairns specifically for this. Yeah, and it's great for nosing because you're going to get it. Your olfactory is going to help you with your uh, with your taste. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Oh my God! Starting with that one and then going to Weller is going to be really. Good. I know. That's going to be the telltale. Yes, it is. All right, we're going to even do our, our our stave char rating. Yep, okay, let's do that. So um, I will put you on the spot, Charles. Go okay. first. What is your char level rating for Weller 12 and Lot B, and who won it? All right, well, for me, it's and this is what I like. It's good. It's good. For me, it's a three. I'll take the Weller as a three. But the Lot B, I got to give it a four. Oh, yeah. That's, that's where I'm at. Yeah. So I'm going to Lot B for the W. Yep, me too. And this is, I think it's an easy side-by-side. -side. I think you could do it blind and then have just as much fun, but I think there's a cl clear winner. I do too. I think it's completely different. And in this case, I'm going to go, I'll agree with your three on the Weller 12, because I think 2024 was very good, but I think 22 would have edged it out to a three and a half. Okay. And I'm going to go above and beyond for the Lot B, because I really like this one, yeah. specific one. So I'm going to go above the four, and I'm going to give it the alligator charge. Alligator charge? Yeah. Yep. So even though level four is alligator char, but they can call it level five too. But level yep. four is classically known as alligator char. But I'm going to go above the four is what yep. I'm saying. Yep. So. We're, that's that's big time. Yeah. So I'm yep. going to give this. This is so well balanced. It's so well put together. It's got pleasant nose. Then it follows yep. with a great like nose palate and finish. Yep. Everything was there. Oh, it's all there. If we ever had a chance to go back into the 80s and do a Van Winkle oh, pick, God. holy cow, that would have been fun. Yeah. And yeah. I would have just said, give me the whole barrel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's take anything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But no, I, I I agree with you one hundred percent. I'd go above four too, but four to me is great. Yep, I'm going above four. Yep. So I I think it's a clear winner. Let us know what you guys think. Put it in the comments. What Van Winkle did you not like or like better? Yep. And then did you Our, try it versus Weller Twelve? And what did you think or not think? Yep. No, that's the way to do it. And honestly, tell us if you want to see something else. Put it in the comments. Yeah. And keep in mind, reach out to us if you guys are interested in where to go to get these. If you want to buy one for yourself to support us locally here, or if you want to support us outside of the local area, which is okay too. Yep. And then, like I said, there's polo t-shirts and dickies, if you want to call them. That's what they are. Yeah. And uh, those are available options. And then, you know, be on the lookout for some more BBE merchandise, merchandise. Yeah, if definitely. you guys want to support the local bourbon video group. Yep. Hit that like and subscribe button, guys. And cheers. Cheers.